first we got the Ukraine shock, then we got the recent, you know, uh, Israel-Palestine conflict, which is getting, you know, extremely intense and it will have global ramifications. Uh, insofar as India's position in the global marketplace is concerned, so the two countries which will play a key role in terms of the global economic revival are going to be China and India. In fact, more than 50% of the economic growth of the future is projected India, China and some of the East Asian countries. So it's a very important position an economy plays. But as you get more and more integrated in the global economy as a major player, uh, your responsibilities and your internal conflicts, your inter internal policies become far more open to criticism, but also to review because different constituencies look at you very carefully before they go doing business. So the indication India became, you know, an observer to FATF in 2006, and then they became a member in 2010. And that was the time when Financial Action Task Force, the you know, Asia Pacific side of it, did the first mutual review of India. And now almost, you know, after 23 years, I would say another major review is expected these days. And people are speculating and some people are unhappy. India has, you know, very serious diplomatic tension with Canada and with Qatar. So I think this review would be an interesting uh, exercise for India as well. Although it's a regular review, it's not really targeted against India. But people are, you know, going to raise voices uh, to look at, you know, uh, the Indian government's internal policies, their policies to engage externally. And then, you know, my understanding is greatest, I think it's uh, at this point in time, speculating is not correct because we really don't know where will it go. But there will be, you know, some kind of advice or a technical assistance given uh, uh, from FATF to India that once you are emerging as one of the major global economy, what are the measures you need to take to curb, uh, you know, movement of people, movement of money and do not misuse uh, some of the international, uh, you know, things like FATF by suppressing your political opposition or the people who are raising voice. Now, having said that, what we have seen the evidence, because particularly when the global recession continues, uh, we have seen that people at this point in time, the commercial mindset is not really very sympathetic to human rights or social rights or climate activism or all kind of activism. At this point of time, immigration or refugees, so people are really, really, really uh, not prioritizing these issues, which is sad, but that's the real politic of the world today. And I don't think that, you know, these kind of pressures will change the internal thinking of India immediately, but in the medium term, it can have ramifications uh, that, you know, a country has to respect certain rights, certain voices, uh, become certain, you know, inclusive, show certain inclusivity and demonstrate that they are ready to integrate uh, with the developed world. But let's take certain scenarios here. Uh, the worst scenario is that the FATF mission actually, you know, finds certain violations of the international practices which FATO, you know, benchmarks and indicators and they put them on the watch list of any sort, gray list is one word, but they put India on a watch list and give them a couple of years program to improve their implementation and improve their legal structures, improve their institutional structures. Now, this has a huge economic cost as A, you lose an image uh, with your trading partners, which are largely in the West, but also the current tensions, you know, between China and the US and India being an ally of the US. So the overall regional trading patterns and economic partnerships can actually start changing. Some of the investors might be forced to, you know, hold on their future programs. Some of the deals can be put on hold. So there will be a significant economic cost in that part.
but at the same time if it becomes just a normal review and review gives a clean chit to india actually uh, my worry would be not for india for any economy in that uh, in that position that that will embolden the internal regimes to continue with the practices uh, which uh, you know are not necessarily giving space for debate space for you know uh, an honest uh, voice and also space for marginalized and in this you know current form of capitalism that's the crude side uh, which you know lots of our development thinkers or development economists are worried about so this will have so i think i my advice uh, to india and other countries in that position would be that they should be cautious and cognizant to have a balanced approach in terms of their sustainable economic development otherwise unnecessary tensions uh, can slow down the process of you know a, a, a momentum which they have gained now we need to also you know while speaking about fatf engagement with partner countries over the past few years we have seen that this body which was largely a technical and advisory body not necessarily an implementing body there are two very clear components which emerge one was that it became a center of political lobbying and we saw when pakistan was on gray list india and the us very actively lobbied to put pressure on pakistan at the same time there is another element that in some of the countries including pakistan uh, multilateral institutions also linked their programming with fatf i as a professional who has been engaged with it i think that is largely unfair and now india itself is in the review and with their you know diplomatic tensions and rights group writing they can become you know a, a party which can be politically influencing the review uh, uh, against india so one needs to see that these bodies should remain technical so that you know real solutions of money laundering and anti terror financing uh, you know uh, terrorism financing can be addressed in the real term but if politics dominates the technical side then it can go you know in any direction which is not healthy in terms of the reputation of fatf and also the partner country so one needs to be looking at these angles in these reviews very carefully and look at your uh, foreign relations international relations and also relations with non profit organizations and rights based voices uh, globally